Every Thursday we have a farmer's market, and so we bake bread for that market. Dufferin Grove Park has just a couple of buildings in it. A little field house, and then the rink house. The garage um, was the place where that, the Zamboni was supposed to stand, but it's way bigger than the Zamboni needs. We started a group called Friends of Dufferin Grove Park maybe about 11 years ago. We just slowly adapted every little corner and crevice. You know, all the things that you can stuff into a place and still being respectful to the Zamboni. And then out of the blue, a week before Christmas, these two inspectors showed up and they went into the Zamboni room. And they said, as long as there's a Zamboni standing in this room, there's no one allowed to set foot in the room except a licensed Zamboni driver. The theater company I run is called Clay and Paper Theater. We were first invited to the park in 1994. <laughs> we probably have somewhere in the order of 200 to 400 puppets that, that we've used, made, built here in the park and that are used for, the, for various events from Night of Dread to Day of Delight to Puppets on Ice or Puppet So Nice as we sometimes call it. People associate the park so much with those giant puppets. And also, frankly, the, the, the Zamboni garage was a great destination for the kids to come by and look at those puppets all hanging there. It was really exciting for them. I'd actually seen the inspectors early in the morning. They did say that there could be nothing in this room except the Zamboni and the, and the, and the Zamboni driver. And so that implied the puppets had to go and of course, God was one of those present, and it's God himself who has been ejected from uh, his spot over there above the Zamboni. On the day in question, uh, it was our last mark before Christmas, so a lot of the vendors were bringing in their best goods to sell, so they were setting up. Um, there were people here playing hockey as usual, people here skating. There was a lot of stuff going on. It was very intense. These two folks all of a sudden showed up in their blue City of Toronto windbreakers. And they said, this is the worst rink that we have ever seen. And it may be necessary to shut you down. They said, there can't be a kitchen in here, even though it's sealed off and everything. It was a very... Uh, blunt and kind of aggressive thing to say uh, in the midst of this Christmas market that we were trying to have. Well, I think the city officials have, have found us a bit confusing because one of the strengths, I think, of the Friends of Dufferin Grove Park is our lack of committees and our lack of rules and our lack of um, a set structure. The point of a park is that it has no walls, and therefore people see each other all the time, and they talk to each other all the time. And it's a really interesting demonstration of democracy. You know, we're not the kind that says, you know, uh, do nothing and hope for the best. We go out and do something. So that sort of gives you the sense of uh, what the community is all about and very proud of the way the whole place works. You know, the, the day the inspector showed up, she sent out a very quick email. And within a couple of hours, because in this neighborhood, there's a lot of people who, who have computer jobs or at their desks all day. And so they got the email, and within a couple of hours, we had swamped city officials with our complaints about, about the treatment we received here. Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Leah. And uh, we work at Clay and Paper Theatre. Look at them all! All these threatening puppets! 
when it came to doing Puppets on Ice this year, we decided that we would uh, do a theater piece based on uh, some of the events uh, that, that happened here. So that's why we decided to build the um, cardboard Zamboni and bring it out at the end of Puppets on Ice with the uh, pretend inspector to order the puppets off of the, the children. Out of your piece of puppet! That's right. <laughs> I tell you, I love rules! He then threw the puppets into the mouth of the waiting Zamboni and he chewed them up and, uh, um, and took them away. Starting off in recreation as a, as a, as a rink guard and working way up and actually, actually driving a Zamboni. I have a brother who graduated from Osgood, um, is a lawyer, has a major practice down on the East Coast. And when he came up at Christmas time, like begging me to teach him how to drive a Zamboni, could I get him on a Zamboni? Zambonis generally do just have their own room and they are, they are used almost exclusively as a Zamboni room. These Zambonis require solitude kind of hit my heart, you know, because I thought, yeah, that's, that, that makes some sense. I mean, here's, here's this uh, uh, Zamboni there in the garage with these puppets hanging over, whispering above the Zamboni, and I'm sure they're plotting and, and, and all kinds of evil things that only puppets can. <laughs> You see, you see why they might, I mean, if, if the puppets were doing that, then I could see that the Zamboni might really be upset. You look at it and you say, well, it's a Zamboni room. After all, it's only for the Zamboni. Uh, but given that there's a lack of space and trying to maximize those, those pieces within in a large size room, it's how do we find a way to make this happen? The rules that apparently were going to be um, preventing us from being there turned out to be not as, as ironclad as as we had thought from the tone of voice of the inspectors. Um, and uh, there were some accommodations made by the city, but ultimately we didn't have to tear out the kitchen. We have a group of people who have taken over a building that we're quite happy with the way that they use the, uh, the building. What we have to do is every now and again we have to say, here's the box we've painted, quit, quit jumping so far outside the box. Our argument the whole time was, the city doesn't have a lot of money to build all these new community centers. Here we are just using this big shoebox that we found in the park. And we don't need anything more grand, but just let us use it in an imaginative way. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna finish our shopping and then we're going to first skate on and we go skating every Thursday oh, skating. in the park. Now that we don't have the puppets in the park, how can we possibly think of doing the kind of shows that we've been doing here for years? This does not have a happy ending. Our puppets that have been a part of this community for over 10 years now have been scattered to the four winds and in fact will never come back. We have a lot of hope that we can persuade the city that we can have at least some of those puppets come back. Connect Zam Bone Zam. Ice bones connect Zam Bone Zam. Community bones now. Hear the word of the Lord. Could we all just blow the Zamboni a little kiss? The Zamboni? On the count of three. Oh, what? 